And so how do we set up this one right here? It looks like it goes from the, the bottom of this to it looks like it connects to the side somewhere. So first let's set up a spline path. So I just got that set to shift one. I can create lines. We just go right here, line. All right. So we can just have it go right here, for example. All right, let's go with something like that. I'm going to press one right away and I'm going to go ahead and smooth that. And I will go ahead and just kind of move this to connect here. However, this will not be the actual wire, but this will be what we use to have the wire follow. And I think we may also want to move this you know, up here. All right, you can you can further modify this on the table, for example. All right, so in order to make the actual wire that we're going to use, we're going to go ahead and use a helix. I'm going to go ahead and create that helix here. I'm going to left click a bunch of time to set up and we can further set up the radius here. All right, let's increase the height. Let's increase the turns, which we probably want like a crazy amount. So let's go with maybe like a hundred. So that may be too little, too much, maybe a little bit too much, maybe, maybe 75. So maybe we need to increase the radius. So these are things you can play around with. All right, and now we can create uh, the ends right here. All right, so essentially that's that. And then we can apply edit spline on top. So we got this happening here. So then we can select this. Actually, what I would do is I would just center this and isolate that. And I will kind of move that in the center. And I will move that up. And there we go. It looks like these ends are both different, but you can go ahead and set up the other end as you want. I'll just keep them kind of both the same. So now we go ahead and we kind of uh, convert back to Edward Spline and we uh, enable this and we get that. We can, I'm gonna go ahead and decrease the size because it's way too complex and perhaps decrease the steps too. And I'm gonna go ahead and decrease the thickness And I'm going to get this right there. All right, so I think this is way too complex. It doesn't need to be this complex. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this right here. And I'm going to use dot ring loop actually i'm going to deselect this last one. i'm going to loop down i'm going to remove that you can just hold on control and click on remove to remove the edge and the vertices so now we get this however that may still be too complex so i'm going to select this uh this next edge once again dot ring show the bottom loop and remove so we're just going to simplify things as much as we can to make things easier to work with we can do that one more time perhaps Let's see if the result will not be too simple. All right, so we've got that. And then when we subdivide that, we're going to get a nice result. So it's always a good idea to manage your complexity and not make things too complex. We can use regularizer on this. All right.
right, so now we're going to go ahead and model this top bar. So we're just going to go ahead and shoot. I can delete this. And actually, because of the complexity here, we can go ahead and just make that a separate object. And so now we can go ahead and... Open subdiv that. So you can, of course, uh, we need to set up more even edges here so actually let me go let me go underneath that all right so i would do that and then so essentially what i'm going to do here is just kind of insert loops so i'll hone down shift just to kind of even things out you can use set flow for that as well just make things as even as you can all right so we're going to just uh, open subdiv again. All right. Delete the left half. I'm going to go ahead and bevel with zero. Go down shift to convert to the board edges. Straighten that out. Weld. I'll do the same for. I'm going to apply symmetry. So it looks like it's not probably even because we did extrude this from a. We did extract this from a spline, so we're going to get a little bit of strangeness here, but we can just fix that up. And so now I'll do the same from the side. So now we kind of got this situation happening here. So something like this, for example. But of course, we can use preset. All right. So now I've got this right here. So you can, of course, make it fit a little bit better here. So now that we've got that, it's just a matter of attaching them together. And keep in mind that you can get the other side here as well. So what I'm, what I'm simply going to do is just take the easy way out. I'm just going to go ahead and select the element. I just go control shift and just kind of rotate that and just kind of have it... Uh, All right, so now we go ahead and apply path to form. You can use either the path to form in world space. There's also path to form in object space as well. Here it is. We're going to pick this path. We're going to move to path. And now we're just going to go ahead and change around the percents. Stretch values. And now you've got this situation right here. If you don't want it to stretch too much, you can always kind of go underneath of here and add more loops here. So this is obviously this part here is way too stretched. So here's what I would do. I would copy the path to form and I will go back here and I would kind of uh, detach these pieces. So I would then paste that right on top. But now for this, I can just kind of bring the stretch 
to one. And I can just kind of uh, kind of have this happen here. Unless there's no stretching on this. Maybe, maybe a little bit of a stretch. All right, and we can also do the same for... It looks like it's this one that goes there. So we're going to go ahead and detach this one. We're going to paste that on there as well. We're also going to bring down the stretch. All right, and now we're just going to have a stretch on this one right here. All right, so here we're going to have a little bit of a stretch and change the percentage, and we should be good to go, guys. All right, guys, that is the phone. Thank you for watching, and take care.